friends today we'll be discussing the previous question paper of aib uh, subject pertaining to the law of contracts specific relief act property laws and negotiable instrumentation acts these four topics at least eight questions are expected from these four topics so based on the previous year exam we can uh, uh, you know we can at least uh, have an idea how the questions will be there and that will be helpful to us what is the period of limitation for expeditious disposal of a suit under the specific relief act 1963 under specific relief act the period is 12 months within the 12 months the uh, case is supposed to be supposed to be decided law laid down under section 73 of indian contract act is related to which of the following cases section 73 of indian contract act 1872 Headley versus Bexandel. Headley versus Bexandel is the case which is pertaining to the Section 73 of the Indian Contract Act. Contractual liability arises when there is the intention to create a legal relation. See, agreement becomes a contract only through the legal liability. So, if there is the intention to create a legal relation then the contractual liability arises frustration of the contract is provided by which section of the indian contract act frustration of the contract is under the section 56 of indian contract act specific relief act 1963 has eight chapters and 44 sections specific relief act 1963 has eight chapters and 44 sections when perpetual injunction may be granted these are all the situations that we need to understand where the defendant is a trustee of the property for the plaintiff where there is no standard for ascertaining the actual damages the compensation in money would not afford the adequate relief in these cases a perpetual injunction may be granted by the court X, Y, and Z jointly promise to pay A an amount of fifty thousand rupees. Subsequently, X and Y become untraceable. Can A compel Z to pay? A can compel under the section forty-three, paragraph one of the Act. It is a joint or a severe liability. In absence of X and Y, Z is liable to pay. A can uh, seek the Um, uh, under section 43 of para 1 delivery of the goods by one or one person to another person for some purpose upon a contract they shall when the purpose is accomplished be returned or disposed of according to the directions of the person delivering them this process is called the bailment section 14a inserted by the specific relief act amendment 2018 related to the power of the courts to engage the experts indemnity contract is defined under section 124 of the indian contract act peak versus gurney is a famous case related to the fraud peak versus gurney a case related to the fraud the definition of contract is defined under section 2a of the indian contract 2h of the indian contract 2d and 2g 2h of the indian contract it is defined under the 2h of the indian contract act under section 70 of the indian contract act where a person lawfully does anything for another person or delivers anything to him not intend to do so gratuitously and such other person enjoy the benefit thereof the latter is bound to make the compensation to the former if it is not a gratuitous act the latter is bound to make the compensation to the former in respect of the restore the thing is done delivered this principle is known as quantum merit quantum merit is the, the one which he need to repay if it is not gradually given the service an agreement is a promise or a set of promises forming the consideration to each other which of the following sentence is 
assertion a collateral transaction to wagering the are valid reason is only wagering agreements are declared void under section 30 here the a is true or is false a is false or is true both a and are true but r is not correct so answer is both a and uh, r are true and r is correct a is a collateral transaction to wagering is valid which is right the reason is only wagering agreements are declared void under section 30 of the indian contract which is also true and r is the correct explanation of the a the term holder means is a payee bearer or endorsed any of them is considered holder misne profit of the profit property means those proper profits which are by which the person in wrongful possession of such a property actually received or might have received therefrom together with the interest on such profits maybe with respect to the mortgage or any other type of a lease so misne profits are applicable which of the following is not a vested interest a stipulates that the title in a property shall pass to the c on his death a stipulates that the title in property shall pass to c on the death of b a stipulates that the title of the property shall pass to c if he marries b a stipulates that the title of property shall pass to c after 10 years not a vested interest is a stipulates that the title in a property shall pass to c if he marries b effect of not negotiable crossing is mentioned in section 130 of the negotiable instrumentation act section 16 of the ni act 1881 defines the endorsement in full and endorsement in blank section 16 of ni act defines endorsement in full and endorsement in blank liability under the section 138 of ni act is strict liability who among the following cannot transfer an immovable property muslim widow cannot transfer the immovable property as per the muslim law the doctrine lis pendens was explained in the case of belami versus the ban lis pendens a case which is pending belami versus the ban the parties which cannot be compelled to perform specific performances of the contract are provided in which section of the specific relief act it is a 28 section 28 specific relief act what kind of a property is transferable any kind of a property if not prohibited by law is transferable which of the following does not come under the immovable property as per the transfer of transfer of property act sales of a ceiling fan it is a movable so immovable it is not a movable so it does not come under the immovable property a person entitled to the possession of a specific immovable property may recover in the manner provided by the cpc 1908 all the civil cases with respect all the property cases are considered the civil cases section 39 of specific relation relief act deals with registration of instrument cancellation of instrument correctness of instrument none of this are correct so in such case we need to refer to the section 39 of the specific relief act section 31 sorry specific relief act cannot be given where the agreement is made with a minor so under the minor specific relief act uh, relief cannot be given where the agreement is with minor specific perform performance act suits to be instituted within 3 years any claim under the specific performance act, contract is to be instituted within 3 years recovery of specific immovable property is defined under section 5 of the specific relief act what is the main objective of the section 138 of the negotiable instrument act it is recovery of the check amount in case of the check issued by the payer is bonds check bonds case popularly 138 of ni act which of the following is not essential for a valid sale 
there must be an agreement to the cell which is not uh, essential directly it can be seen which section of the sale of goods 1930 act deals with the anticipatory breach of contract section 60 of the sale of good act 1930 deals with the anticipatory breach of contract which section of the indian registration act 1908 provide compulsory registration of instruments of the gifts and immobile property section 17 of the registration act uh, provides the compulsory registration of the instruments of gift and immobile properties doctrine of list pendants is given under section 52 of the transport of property act list pendants under section 52 cancellation of the instrument is mentioned in section 31 to 33 of the specific relief act which of the sections of the specific relief act prohibits the filing of a case against the government section 6 prohibits the filing of a case against the government under the specific relief act check bouncing cases charged under the section 138 of negotiable instrument act is in a magistrate court in the magistrate court because it is a criminal offense court's power to award the compensation in provided in a specific relief act is under section 21 which of the following is not essential as a contract of guarantee existence of only one contract is not essential the term agent is defined in the indian contract act under the section 182 a person who gives the guarantee is called surety which is not a right of unpaid seller against the goods to ascertain the price is not a right for the unpaid seller against the goods Section 36 to 42 of Specific Relief Act talks about the injunctions. A sells a field to B. There is a right of way over the field of which A has a direct personal knowledge but which he conceals from B. B has the right to resign the contract because having known the same is not revealed to the other person. Preemption on the grounds of the Shafi Zar was declared unconstitutional in case of a Bauram versus Bajina. Preemption on the grounds of Shafi Azar declared unconstitutional in case of a Bauram versus Bajina. A contract can be specifically enforced where the compensation is adequate relief for the non performance of the contract, where the contract by its natural determinable where it involves the performance of the continuous duty which the court cannot supervise. None of these are the right answers for this. A contract of indemnity under the Indian Contract Act 1872, Section 124 defines the indemnity. Liability of a drawer to compensate the dry in case of a dishonor is primarily provided under the Section 30 under the sec section 30, liability of the drawer to compensate is provided. The parties which cannot be compelled to perform specific performance act under the section 28 of the specific relief act. The undertaking contained in a promissory note to pay certain um, some money is unconditional. Undertaking in a promissory note is unconditional. Who are the partners in a bill of exchange? Both drawee as well as a drawer are the partners in the bill of exchange. And also the payee. So the three drawee, drawer and payee are the part of the bill of exchange. A perpetual injunction can only be granted based on the merits of the suit. Including the balance of convenience. What is true per perpetual injunction? It is a preventive in nature. Perpetual injunction prevents the action to initiate so that the person who is suffering will not get further sufferings. If an instrument may be construed either as a promissory note or a bill of exchange is an ambiguous instrument. A contingent contract based on the specific uncertain events not happening within a fixed time under the section 35 
is remains valid if the event does not happen within the fixed time becomes void and uh, at the expiration of the time fix becomes void if the happening of the event becomes impossible before the expiry of the fixed one both b and c it becomes void at the expiry of the expiration of the time fix and it also becomes void if the happening of the event comes become impossible before the expiry of the time fix which is correct proposal plus acceptance is a promise promise plus consideration is a agreement agreement for the enforcement is a contract all of them are correct communication of the acceptance is complete as again is the proposal when it is put in course of a transmission to him so as to be out of power of the acceptor in case of a general offer for a valid contract the acceptor must have the knowledge of the offer before accepting by performance under the provisions of the transfer of property act 1882 the unbound person acquires the vested interest on the transfer for his benefit upon his birth immediately on his birth he gets the right on the property every transfer of immovable property made with an intent of it to defeat or delay the creditors of the transferable shall be voidable at the option of the creditor so defeated or delayed delayed where a co-judgment debtors are in the position of a joint promises each is jointly and severally liable to the decree holder at sight under section 21 of the negotiable instrument act means on demand contract without consideration made in writing and registered and made an account of a natural love and affection is valid in natural love and affection consideration is not a issue under the transfer of property act 1982 the salary of a public officer cannot be transferred where a debt is transferred for the purpose of securing an existing or a future debt the debt so transferred if received by the transferor or re recovered by the transferee is applicable first in payment of the cost of such recovery this is provision of a mortgage debt a suit under the section 6 of a specific relief act is a tenant holding over injunction cannot be granted in a suit in which specific performance cannot be enforced peak versus gurney is a famous case related to the fraud peak versus gurney and a fraud there was a contract to supply oil seeds but the government rendered the sale and purchase of oil seed illegal under the defense of india rules act identify the effect both the parties are discharged from the performance of such act because it is required by the government as a law the principles evolves in hadley and baxendale are the basic section of the indian contract act that is 73 section section 6 of a specific relief act 1963 states that if any person is dispossessed without his consent of a mobile property otherwise than in due course of a law he or any person can claim through him may be by a suit to recover the possession recovery of the property through a suit money or the property through a suit as per the specific relief act identify the situation wherein person interested in a contract may sue to have its rescinded and such rescission may be adjudicated adjudged by the court in case where the contract is voidable or terminable by the plaintiff or where the contract is unlawful for causes not apparent on its face and the defendant is more blamed than the plaintiff an accommodation bill it's an accommodation bill is the one which is drawn by one person and accepted by another without consideration merely to enable the drawer to raise the money on the bill by discounting it section 87 which provision of the negotiable instrument act discusses about the material alteration of the instrument and its effects section 87 talks about the material alteration and instruments of the its effect a transfer the property to b for life and after the his death c and d equally to be divided between them 
or to the survival of them. C dies during the lifetime of B. D survives the B. At the B's death, the property is passed on to the D since C is not there. A will transfer of rupees 500 to his niece C if she will desert her husband. The transfer is void. This kind of a illegal uh, conditions are void for the transfer. Which section of the Transfer of Property Act discusses about the rights and liabilities of the buyers and the sellers of immobile property? Section 55 talks about the rights of the liabilities of the buyer and the seller. Section 55. Identify the wrong statement from the following. An indemnity is for the reimbursement of the loss. In contract of the indemnity, liability of the indemnifier is a secondary and arises when the contingent event occurs. In case of a contract, the guarantee, the liability of the surety is a primary and arises when the principal debtor defaults. B is the right answer. In which is true contra contracts of the agency. It is only when a person acts as a representative of the other in the creation, modification or a termination of the contractual obligation between the order and the third person that he is an agent. A shareholder executes an agreement or a bond favoring a company thereby agreeing to satisfy the company for any loss caused as a consequence of his own act. This is decided in the case of a Blair versus Western Mutual Benefit Association. Doctrine of election is based on the foundation that a person taking the benefit of an instrument must bear the burden. In a bailment of if the goods are lent free of cost to the bailey for his use, it is known as called the commodation. Where the proposal and acceptance is through letters, the contract is made at a place where the letter of acceptance is posted. Surety stands discharged by variance in the terms of the contract without his consent. All contracts which are unlawful and void are known called nugatory contracts. All those contracts which are unlawful and void are known as a nugatory contracts. Section 99 of the Negotiable Instrument Act deals with the noting. Section 99 deals with noting under NA Act. Cancellation of a crossing is also called opening of a crossing. Negotiable claim issued by the bank in return for a term deposited is called the certificate of a deposit. Wager relate with the present event, past event, future event. Any of these, the wager relate to this instead. The concept of the privacy of the contract was rejected in case of Donog versus Stevenson. Privacy of contract was rejected in case of Donog versus Stevenson. What are the remedies open to the party aggrieved in a suit on contracts? It is specific performance and injunction, specific performance and damages, and specific performance only. All of them are correct. Frost versus Knight is a leading case under section 34. Which among the following is a law based on the equity? Specific Relation uh, Relief Act 1963 is based on the equity. Which section of the Specific Relief Act describes the temporary injunction? Section 37 describes the temporary injunction. The maintenance amount which can be transferred is areas of the maintenance up to a certain date. The maximum period during which property can be tied up is only one or more life or a leave in being at the date of transfer or the minority of the unborn person. A promise or a set of promises forming consideration is called agreement. Enforceability becomes a contract, but here the promises of the consideration is agreement. A past consideration under the Indian law is valid. Caveat emptor means purchaser beware. Consensus ad erim means meeting of the minds. 
agreement in restraint of a marriage is a void. A tells B the shopkeeper gives Z the goods. I will see you paid. This is nothing but indemnity. A contract to perform the promise or discharge the liabilities of a third person is called contract of a guarantee. He who does not act through another does by himself is the agency. When at the desire of a promiser, the promise, promisee or any other person has done abstain from doing something or does not does or abstain from doing something that promises to do or abstain from doing something such act is abstinence or a promise is called a consideration. X owes Y rupees 20,000 but this, this debt is barred by the limitation act. Executes a X executes a written promise to pay 15,000 on account of the debt. This is valid. When a negotiable instrument is delivered conditionally or for a specific purpose as a collateral security or for safe custody only and not for the purpose of transferring the absolute property, therein it is called the screw. Which one of the following is a promissory note with a science instrument? I promise to pay B or order rupees 10,000 on demand. Transfer of properties acts to the inter vivas to surviving members. A transfer of property of which is the owner to the B in trust A and his intended wife successively for their lives after the death of the survivor for the eldest son the intended marriage for the life and for after his death for A second son the interest so called for the benefit of the elder son does not take effect. A transfer of an interest in a specific immovable property for the purpose of securing the payment for the money advanced or to be advanced is a mortgage. A lease of immovable property from year to year or for any term exceeding one year or reservingly a yearly rent can be made only by a registered instrument. Specific performance of the contract can be ordered at a discretion of the court when the act agreed to be done in such a way that the compensation in money for a non-performance will not give sufficient relief. Under section 9 of the Specific Relief Act, the person against whom the relief is claimed may plead by way of a defense any ground which is available to him under any law relating to the contracts. Following contract cannot be specifically enforced. A contract performance of which involves the performance of the continuous duty which court cannot supervise. A sells a TV to minor who pays for it by means of a check. A endorses the the check to X, X takes in good faith and for value. Check was desired. X can enforce the payment against A only, not to the minor. A contract made by the trustee in excess of his power is a breach of trust and cannot be specifically enforced as per the section 11.2. Under the section 41 of a specific relief act, Injunction cannot be granted to restrain any person from instituting or a prosecuting any proceeding in a court not subordinate to that from which the injunction is sought. To restrain any person from applying to any legislature, to restrain any person from instituting the prosecuting to any person in a criminal manner, all of them are the right answer. Specific Relief can be granted only for the purpose of enforcing an individual civil right and not for the mere purpose of enforcing a penal law. This provision is there under the section 4. Delivery of goods by one person to another person for some purpose upon a contract that they shall, when the purpose is accomplished, be returned or disposed according to the direction of the person delivering them. This is called the bailment. The essence of a contract of agency is the agent representative capacity coupled with the power to affect the legal relations of the principal with the third person. 
A contracts is an agreement between the two or more persons which is intended to be enforceable at law and is contracted by the acceptance by one of the parties offer made by the other party to do or abstain. This statement is based on the Halsbury. A. A's nephew has absconded from his home. He sent his servant to trace him missing nephew. When the servant had left, A then announced that anybody who discovered the missing boy would be given the reward of 500. The servant delivers the missing boy without knowing the reward. When the servant came to know about the reward, he brought an action against the A to recover the same. But his action failed. It was held that servants was not entitled to the reward because he did not know about the offer when he was discovering the missing boy. This is popular case Lalman Shukra versus Gaurida. A debtor owes several distinct debts to the same creditor and he makes a payment which is insufficiently satisfied to all the debts. In such case, a question arises as to which particular debt payment is to be appropriated, which sections of the contract act provided to answer, section 59 to 61. What property cannot be transferred under the TP Act? Any easement right cannot be transferred. Any interest of the property restricted only enjoyment to the owner personally cannot be. And a right to the future maintenance whatsoever may be arising, secured or determined cannot be. These are all things cannot be transferred under the TP Act. A transfers, A transfers property of which he is in the owner to the B in trust for A as is intended wife successively for their lives. And after death of the survivor for the eldest son of the intended married for the life and after his death for A second son can the interest so created for the benefit of the eldest son to take effect? No. Acceptance in any other satisfaction than the performance originally agreed is known as accord and satisfaction. A solicitor sold certain property to one of his clients. Client subsequently alleged that the property was considerably overvalued and his consent was caused by the undue influence of court to consider the relationship between the parties to each. So undue influence is not a, cannot be used to sell a property. The law of a contract is intended to ensure that what a man has been led to expect shall come into the past. What has happened promised shall be performed. This is the Anson statement in this prophet. The intention not to create a legal obligation was clear from the court of conduct of the parties. Balfour versus Balfour is a popular case on this. According to Indian law, in a lawful contract, the consideration may move from the promise or promisee or any other person. Raga owes Murli 10,000. This debt is time barred by the Limitation Act. Even then, the Murli promises in writing to pay the Raghav 4,500 on account of the debt and signs the document. This is called the enforceable document. An agency can be terminated by agreement between the parties by renunciation by the agent or by completion of the business of the agents, all of them. Which types of the laws are not covered by contract of the indemnity. Loss arising, arising from the accidents like a fire or a perils of the sea is not considered, is not covered under the contract of indemnity. Which of the following is correct standard form of a contract? It is a valid contract. As a general rule, an agreement made with the, without consideration is a void. A contingent agreement based on an impossible event under section 36 is void. The consensus at idem means meeting of minds upon the same thing in the same sense. In famous Carlyle versus Carbolic small smoke ball company, honorable court held that the contract was accepting on being acted upon. The inadequacy of the consideration does not make a contract valid. Just in personam, 
is the right against a specific purpose. Exposure of the goods by the shopkeeper is invitation to the offer. An agreement to remain unmarried is always a void. An agreement enforceable at law is called a contract. An agreement shall be void for mistake of fact by one party, mistake of the fact by both parties, mistake of the foreign law, all of the above. It is a mistake of the fact by both parties. Void agreement signifies agreement not enforceable by the law. A proposal when accepted becomes a promise under section 2b. Offer under the section 2a is willingness to do or abstain from doing an act in order to obtain the assent of the other thereto. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Specific Relief Act 1963 extends to whole of the India except state of Jammu and Kashmir is correct. This is before the Jammu and Kashmir Amendment Act. Specific performance is granted where thereby exists no standard for assisting the damage is also correct. Where the aggrieved party can be adequately compensated in money, he will get only the decree for the damages and not to recourse to is also correct. So none of them are in, incorrect statements. Which of the following is correct statement? Under section 7, the suit may be for recovery of a special mobile property or in the alternative for the compensation under the section 8 of the pecuniary compensation is not, uh, not a adequate relief to the plaintiff for the loss of article and the relief prayed for is the injunction restraining the defendant from disposing the article or otherwise injuring or concealing it. Both A and B are correct. Unborn person acquires vested interest on the transfer of his benefit under the TP Act upon his birth. Which section of the TP Act deals with the onerous gift? One section 127 of the transfer of property talks about the onerous gift. Friends, uh, these are all related to the Property Act and uh, negotiable instrument and specific